Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I feel like the last couple videos that I've done, it's been a welcome back, like sorry it took so long, where have I been? Um, so yeah, I'm just doing another update. I really do want to come back to YouTube. It's just been so much going on, which I'm going to catch you guys up with with this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Indigo and I basically, do you know what? I think it's about time that I changed my name because I have a business, which I'm going to talk about. And with that business, I actually use my name. Um, the whole point of me using Indigo was to kind of just keep my personal life away from YouTube. Uh, but I feel like everything's kind of turned into one now. So yeah, just comment down below what you think I should do with my name. Maybe I'll do a poll on Snapchat or something, but yeah. But yeah, so my name is Indigo. <laughs> my actual name is Saffron. Uh, a lot of you don't know me as Saffron now. Um, yeah, I used to do YouTube. Sorry, I, this is so weird. So please forgive me if this video is a bit, you know, out of... Um, <clears throat> not like how I used to do it because I used to like chop change and make them really quick and get rid of all the ums and ahs but I just want to be you know give you the raw me and um just give you guys a little update of what's going on so let me just put, do a bit of lick a bit of gloss I hope you guys can't see anyway so where have I been <laughs> um wow that is such a good question. I feel like so much has happened in the past, what has it been, like two years? Maybe longer. I think I have uploaded like a video before, but it was just sort of to make you guys aware that I'm still here. I'm just kind of going through it. Um, but yeah, let's start off with two years. So I got really ill again with my lupus. The kidney disease came back and I just wasn't in the mood. Not, okay, not in the mood. I didn't have the willpower to continue with um, vegan diet and natural curing because I just got my own place and I wasn't getting the help from my family that I needed yeah so I got ill and then what happened got my place and I just feel like that's when life kicked in I didn't have time to slow down I didn't have time to take a minute back I just literally had to get on with it and figure out how I was going to get better and how I was going to progress from where I was so I ended up on dialysis because at the time I just didn't have the support that I needed to do the whole vegan diet. And like I said, I got my own place. I wasn't staying at my mum's, so it was a lot harder for me to get meals. Um, my mum is quite old, although if she sees this, she'll probably cuss me. But my mum is in her 60s, still thinks that she's 18. So it was just a lot and she works full time. So, yeah. But I'm okay. I actually feel a lot better now that I'm on dialysis than I was before kind of, you know, getting better and then forgetting that I was ill in the first place and then relapsing into kidney disease. It was just it was just a very toxic cycle and it affected me a lot mentally as well. Um so now, yeah, as you can see, I have a port in my chest. I just want to say this video I wanted to make as raw as possible, hence why I'm wearing a creased pyjama top, very minimal makeup, um, and I've actually got my pyjama bottoms on. I have had a shower, <laughs> I just thought I wanted to be comfortable and kind of show you guys where I'm at and I want you guys to grow with me again. Because I think with life, we forget that we're humans, even all the creators on the internet, we're all human and... We do go through struggles. Sometimes we get pushed 10 steps back and we've got to build ourselves back up. So I thought this was a nice way to kind of show you guys um, my journey of building myself back up and hopefully inspire you guys as well. Because I feel really bad. I've kind of left like, <laughs> I've left all you, or I've left all of you lot in the dark. Um, yeah, so that's that, I guess. Ended up on dialysis. Um, I do that three times a week for three and a half hours each session but it ends up about five hours because of the time to connect and you know wait for the machine and stuff so yeah I've been doing that since last year January it's been tough <laughs> I've had good days and bad days and right now I'm just kind of floating it's really weird like I'm trying to um stabilize my health but at the same time I feel so out of control of my body at the moment it's a joke like usually I feel you know I can control certain things and know that I'll get better if I do this but now it's like you can't have too much fruits or vegetables because it's going to raise your potassium and then you're in risk of a heart attack so it's trying to find that balance between 
eating healthy and not disturbing what's going on in my body because it's it's like a whole different ball game but we'll get to that i'll do another video more about you know kidney stuff um dialysis and i have a few guests i have a few friends that would like to join me so stay tuned for that um but yeah dialysis and lupus so the lupus is actually inactive which is really weird but they do say like when you end up on kidney when you end up on dialysis the lupus more time goes in remission not all the time more time <clears throat> So I've been very grateful um, with that. I haven't had any problems with the lupus. Um, recently, I've been getting Reynolds. I've never had, tell a lie, I had Reynolds in the beginning, but it was nothing serious. Like now, like literally the tip of my hands will go blue or my lips will go blue and I can't move my hands or I'll get it in my toes. It's really weird. But yeah, I've been getting Reynolds um, and I'm just really tired. Like I said, it's really hard for me to pick out what's what because there's just so much going on right now. But I'm just trying to stay positive and focus on the things that I can do rather than the things that I can't do. Okay, so what's new? Ah! I was waiting for this question. Also, this is a bit of a short video, by the way. I just wanted to do a little intro and show you guys I'm still here. So please <laughs> forgive me if this is like five, ten minutes long. Um, but what's new? Okay, so as you guys know, or do you know, I don't know, um, I started a skincare and hair care business probably about three or four years ago now. I didn't take it seriously until two years ago, um, just because of the health stuff. I kept getting ill and then, you know, I need to focus on other things. So yeah, now that I'm in a good place, I've started to do the salts of indigo properly. I'll link it down below. So now we're going into pet care, which I'm so excited about because I adore animals. Like I, when I was a kid, my dream job was to be a vet. Um, and then it's funny because when I was younger, I remember taking my mum's dog to the vets and she had to get her glands extracted. And after that, I was like, I can't do this. This is just too much. <laughs> I, all I wanted to do is look after pets. I don't know about all this squeezing bum holes and that. That's just too much. So I ended up changing my um, career. But I will always have a love for animals. Like I just love, mainly love dogs, but I love all animals. Um, I did like horse riding when I was younger and just, you know, little things like that. But yeah, so we've gone into the pet world. I've just released a sample. Yeah, this is my sample of pet balm. And these are the jars. Well, this is one size that it will come in. This is 250. It's either going to be 200 or 250. I, there's just so much mix up at the moment. I'm trying to figure out like the prices, um, just everything because I don't want to make a product and then undercut myself or sell it for too much. At the moment, something like this in the market is about 10 pounds and I'm selling these right now for three pound 50, just, post and packaging just so you guys can try it so this one here i'll get back to you guys about but it's not going to be cheap I, I will say that it's not going to be cheap um but it will last you a year a good year depending on how you use it like if you've got a dog with you know sores or a bit of a dry patch than normal like if you're not just using it on pores and you know skin then you will go through this a bit quicker but um, it's very thick. I'll show you the consistency. It's really nice. It's nice and creamy as well. And it's 100% organic. So you just got to get a bit warm. And then it should come off. But I'll show you. And it just melts straight in. I love it. It smells delicious as well. You can actually use this on your own skin. But yeah. So this is out on the website for £3.50 if you would like to go buy one. Um, I will be releasing these. I still haven't put a day on them because I'm just, I've only got limited stock and I know it's going to go crazy. So <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure that I do everything right with these before I actually put them online. Um, and I'm not going to lie, dialysis and having a business is not easy. Um, today I woke up and the first thing I did was organize my orders and you know all of that baloney manoni. Um, I still haven't eaten. I think it's like one o'clock now. So yeah, it's hard. My belly's grumbling. I feel tired. I feel sick. But you just have to kind of 
just get on with it. <laughs> what can I do? Um, what else? What else can I talk about? Yeah, what's to come? More products, more products, um, more pet care, more skincare. I want to make soaps and conditioners. We're going to have a whole range of different categories of natural products. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm so excited. Also, if you're interested in anything on the website, I have 10 brand new doggy reps with 10% discount codes. So if you would like a little 10% off your order, please go to my Instagram and look out for our dog reps. Um, I'll leave that for you to work out. Be fun. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to say today. I'm just trying to think if there's anything more I want to say. It's so weird recording. I feel like I've lost all my like videoing skills before. I've been like, hi, welcome back. Da, da, da. Now I'm just like, hey, this is me. <laughs> hi. <laughs> but um, yeah, thank you for watching this video if you have. And if you're a true supporter of mine from like Quay Quay back, I love you so much. Thank you so much for continuing to support me. And I'm really sorry that I've been so absent. I know you understand, but I've just apologized. Like I wish I could have continue the journey with you and brought you guys with me but I just got to a point where I was so tired and it was it was fight or flight for me <laughs> it was literally fight or flight like I had to put myself first which I did and I've come out the other end which I'm so grateful for um because yeah we'll talk about the whole dialysis and lupus thing on another video I just wanted to kind of catch up for now hopefully i'll be back with another video real soon i won't leave it too long but yeah i'd love to bring some guests on here and talk more about you know health and things that you guys want to hear <laughs> but yeah thank you bye guys